वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट वट इज स्प्रिंग सिक्योरिटी सो देर आर मेनी थिंग दैट दैट आर अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ दिस ग्रेट फीचर्स स्प्रिंग सिक्योरिटी सो वी हैव टू सी हाउ आई कैन इम्प्लीमेंट टू सिक्योर माई वेब वेब और मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन सो दैट दे वॉन्ट बी एनी सिक्योरिटी ब्रिचेज इन माई एप्लीकेशन दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी एंड दिस सिक्योरिटी कैन बी अचीव यूजिंग द पासवर्ड्स राइट I mean the password may be the plain password, may be encoded or decoded password. So we see this how or what are the algorithms that Spring Security provides and how to use that. Even some authorization happen in the same application when multiple roles are allowed. So when user is with some specific role login in the application, he to see some some different dashboard. Some of the screens are uh, no not seen to him because it is he is not authorized to see that piece. so that kind of authentication we will talk about that is actually not authentication that is the part of authorization right so you are not authorized to you are logged in the application you are authenticated but that particular screen or that particular resource or api is not is not made available to you right apart from that sometime what happens in the netflix you see uh, like we have defined like uh, one user can log in on the five platforms right so some authentication authorization happened based on the login also so on what platform the same user has logged in so this kind of things we will see apart from that we will also see what are the how to implement the security at the very minute level it means at the method level security also we can apply like in the whole screen only some particular buttons are you know some particular user can perform some operation on that not all the users though the page is visible to all the users but that particular functionality is hidden to some of the users so that is also we'll see how to how to do that apart from that there are some security which is related to the browser so when you hit any hit any application so spring security used to check the request is coming from which source whether this source i have added as a as a trusted resource or not if that source is not trusted it will throw some uh, error that is called cross right cross origin resource security apart from that there are csrf tokens also and uh, the when user logged in in one application so there are many thing that he is going to access so on what base each and every api is going to authenticate whether this user is validated or not so that is the whole system work on base on the tokens so token is the latest de facto and the standard in the you know to spring security so we are we are going to talk about the jwt implementation of this tokens and we also see how to provide the oauth to mechanism apart from that we also uh, see how to avoid to make any changes by the you know uh, by the session fixation where you know uh session is there so if someone wants to modify or some making some change in the session and on want to reuse that we can avoid that you can prevent that things so this is all about the things that we are going to learn and as and if we are talking about the course so this is what i have divided so we'll start from the spring security is the very basic definitions and what are the existing spring security you know uh, classes are there so we'll talk about everything what is the flow what is the architecture how it works okay step by step we'll see that we also talk about in the section 3 what are the important classes interface of the spring security then in the later stage we will we'll talk about the authentication and authorization of the web app we will see deeper what are the classes which provide authentication what are the classes which implementation provide the authorization apart from that we will also talk about the role based access of the apis so this is called that was i talking about in the last slide so it was related to the very uh, provide the security at the method level so it's it's needs role or authorities normally uh, when it talk about talk about roles it means spring security says its authorities right and the next part section 6 uh, we will talk about the different strategy i mean okay so when like uh, when when someone is trying to log in so their password their login mechanism are there are different ways so we'll talk about all that strategy and the 5 and 7 are some uh, this section are interrelated so in that we again i am talking about the method level security in spring security how to configure that how to 
how to you know uh, read the role and based on the role we throw some messages to the user so that uh, whether it is allowed to provide this particular action or not on that method even uh, how to handle the course error csrf error and spring security so we'll talk about this course and csrf these are very uh, common attacks and common you know uh, browser based security so normally when you develop an application you are going to use this next section we talk about the how to implement the spring security using the jwt token so jwt just in a simple way jwt is a, a string which is having some fixed format it is having actually three for three uh, parts in the jwt token in the string so each part has its own significance so all this should be validated and is uh, matched if it is everything is okay then only we allow to access that api then we'll see how to how to you know without password if someone wants to log in like like log in with gmail log in with uh, facebook so we'll talk about the login with gmail how to provide the oauth2 so we we'll also see all the implementation apart from that we will uh, we'll also give some gist about the key clock key clock is one of the just like google it is also one of the server where user can authorize it themselves and the authentication authorization can happen it means you are keeping these data related to authorization and authentication on some other server right so all these things we are going to talk and uh, apart from that there are multiple hashing algorithm so hashing is a two way if some some string is getting hashed it may be converted back to the original result or it may not be converted to the original result so normally we are going to talk about it the reverse is not possible i mean once you converted that hash that is string a string it is a completely different string and it can but cannot be converted back to the original one so all these things they're going to talk about is all uh, through this section apart from that we are we will also cover the some most uh, significant questions and uh, some uh, topics and concept in the last and uh, uh, as i said in the earlier in the first slide itself like uh, we are going to provide all the solution all the things in a uh, uh, you know in in the same section it will be attached as a resource so you can download that you're going to start from any point of time so this is all about in this section thank you